started with uh, less than a thousand dollars when I founded the company, and I come from uh, working class parents, and um, so I didn't start this company uh, with a great deal of money. Most of the people that I was raised with uh, turned out to be doctors, lawyers, dentists, and uh, all from working class, but uh, they went to school. And I didn't take uh, school seriously, although I, I did ultimately graduate with honors from a uh, California university. Um, I think that uh, the real, real turning point for me was when I was in the military, went to OCS during our great Vietnam conflict and came out. I was an intelligence officer with NATO, NATO headquarters. And I came back to school, and I came back to school with a vengeance. And uh, I think that was really the beginning. And um, I've been fairly successful at whatever I've done in the uh, two or three endeavors. Well, and, when I was with Bear Stearns in the uh, middle 70s, I saw oil go from uh, $6 a barrel to $12 a barrel. And it didn't take a uh, Harvard MBA to figure out that the great fortunes were being made. So I was fortunate enough to be offered a position with one of our, at that time, corporate finance clients. And I went to work for a company called Kennedy Industries. And I was made an offer I couldn't refuse. And within a year's time, the name of the company was changed to JPK, which stood for Jensen Peña Kennedy. And I was a major shareholder. Um, I subsequently, on January the 7th, 1982, lost a proxy fight and was unceremoniously thrown out on my derriere. And I founded Great Western Resources, as we know it now, on Friday the 13th, July 1982. To be more accurate, we started the company with $820. And um, when we founded the company, uh, Mr. Harrison, Mr. Soliday, who's recently passed away, and myself, our goal was to be the 50 largest exploration production company in the United States. In 1982, that company was Pennzoil. And as you probably read, Pennzoil is a lot bigger than the 50th largest company in the United States now. And if it wins its lawsuit against Texaco, it could probably be one of the top five or six. If you want to see an amazing clip of a young Les Brown, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,